Lab Guy here. This is going to be a, a video of random clips of garbage that I've been shooting while I've been restoring my robot research brand slow scan television equipment. I plan to use one of the video monitors from this system with my Philocam project which is about to be resurrected. If you recall the Philocam is the project where I am using an image dissector tube originally designed by Philo Farnsworth and uh, trying to get uh, some form of fast scan video out of it and I've discovered that the robot research slow scan TV equipment which consists of the model 70 slow scan television monitor the model 80 slow scan television camera and the model 61 fast scan viewfinder monitor which I don't have the manual for you will see that in this video uh, will uh, fit the bill nicely for what I want to do the fast scan monitor or let, let's back up the camera outputs a standard ham radio classic slow scan television signal which is comprised of 120 lines of video transmitted over a period of eight and a half seconds the horizontal scan rate is 15 scan lines per second and it scans for eight and a half seconds for a total of 120 lines the camera uses a Viticon tube Viticon tubes don't like slow scanning they, they don't work well when they're slow scanned. So internally the camera runs at a fast scan speed and then using very clever subsampling technology techniques um, they sample the fast scan video in such a way as to produce the slow scan signal from it. Since there is a fast scanning signal which is running at 4 kilohertz horizontal and 15 cycles vertical. That's not completely correct. The fast scan part is scanning vertically and they sample across the lines to derive the slow scan signal. So technically the horizontal is running at 15 frames per second and the vertical is running at 4,000 cycles per second. And let's see, let me do a calculation real quick what that comes out to. Um, 4,000 divided by 15. It's a 267 line picture. They sample the middle 120 line region of that fast scan signal apparently. It's a very clever technique. It's an old technique. It's been used since the 1970s uh, before digital memories made the entire process moot. Um, Robot Research also makes a digital memory based converter, several of them. Uh, the Model 400 comes to mind. It's a single frame black and white frame converter that will use a fast scan camera, a fast scan monitor and it will take in slow scan TV or put out slow scan TV. It can do a freeze frame and hold it at 120 pixels per line, 120 line picture. None of that matters here. I want to use the fast scan monitor with my Philocam camera. So in the end I will make one modification to the robot research fast scan monitor and that is to rotate the deflection yoke 90 degrees so that we have horizontal scan lines. Other than that it will be the stock monitor and easily converted back by loosening one screw, turning the deflection yoke, and locking it back down. So I have been replacing rotten electrolytic capacitors in the slow scan monitor and in the slow scan camera so far. Tomorrow I will get around to replacing the, the electrolytic capacitors in the fast scan monitor but it is apparently working well enough at the moment that I'm able to verify operation of everything. Um, one of the things that is baffling me is how to align everything to get the sizes correct and so on because 
the, um, si the size and position of, of the slow scan monitor and the fast scan monitor apparently don't match. The camera was out of whack. It had bad capacitors when I replaced them. Needless to say, the size settings of the horizontal and vertical need to be correctly set. I do not have that information, but I will work out how to get this all calibrated so that I don't end up with the Philo Cam having a distorted scanning pattern within it. Ironically, or miraculously, if you will, the deflection yoke that I got to use with the image dissector tube I'm using, called a vidisector, which was a special dissector tube that was made to use a standard Viticon deflection yoke. The deflection yoke I have came from a Model 80 slow scan TV camera. So we know it will run at these scan rates. I have example circuits in the manuals of the old 1970s circuits, but I think I'm going to design my own scan circuits to, uh, to uh, get around some of this really bad. Some of the design is not what I would consider kosher. It's, it's clever and it's good. It's good ham radio design. But uh, it's been 50 years since that stuff was made and, and I've uh, studied quite a broad spectrum of equipment so I have more uh, of a knowledge base to draw on and, and to uh, simplify and improve some of this circuitry. So I believe that the first stage for me will be to build a sync generator that generates 4,000 cycle and 15 cycle vertical and horizontal sync pulses. And uh, in the process of doing that, it will be easy to add a uh, grayscale generator to it. I may also add either a circuit that generates a perfectly square box or a circle. Circle's a little harder, but not impossible. So that I have a known good geometrically square raster signal to align the monitor with. And then the monitor will provide the reference for aligning the camera. So that's the plan when I resurrect Philocam, which is coming back onto the bench, possibly in the next project or in the next video or a video or two down the road. I, I have some other toys I might want to show off in the meantime. So that's the plan. So at this time, I'm going to now begin to edit in some of the random videos that I've been shooting over the last two days of the process of um, examining the equipment and watching it operate. And you'll see it'll start out with the picture really stretched tall, really tall, and we'll squeeze it down a little bit and adjust things. And you'll see that, I, that, that there are issues with it, but pretty fascinating to watch the equipment work. So I hope you enjoy the following random clips. If you like the video, click that, that thumbs up button, subscribe. If you're amazed by all this, call your friends and go, geez, I'm amazed, you gotta see this. Thumbs up, thumbs up. And I'll love you forever. Okay, enjoy the following videos. This is the Model 61 Robot Research uh, Fast Scan Monitor connected to the Model 80 Viticon camera. If you look close, you can see a, a small line rolling through, which is the subsampling line. It's in the middle right now, passing down. So you can actually see the video sampling occurring.
This is Lab Guy uh, signing off and see you next time.